I'm about to save you hours of research. Here are all my gels ranked from best to worst according to science. The top three, the loves of my life. We got Morden, Science and Sport Beta Fuel, and of course, Precision Fuel PF30 Gel. All three of these include fast digesting carbs to reduce the chances of stomach distress. We also have glucose and fructose sources, so multiple transportable carbs in each. This is going to allow your body to potentially absorb and use more carbs per hour. Faster marathons. My meh gels. Honestly, don't really love them. You'll never catch me at a marathon with these. Honey Stinger just has a little bit too much fructose for me. We want a little bit more glucose than fructose in our gels. Untapped is pure maple syrup, so it's just way too much glucose only and no fructose source. This could be troublesome if you're going for a high carb rates. Lastly, Huma, it's fine, but honestly, I don't love all natural ingredients in a gel. Again, I want fast digesting carb sources during my race to reduce the chances of GI stress and get that energy to my muscles quick. Ugh, the no-no gels. Sorry, brand deals. You can. It's cornstarch, a slow digesting carb. There's no fructose in here. It's pretty low carbs overall. The list goes on. Just not a huge fan. Spring Energy Gel. We already know they've been lying about the amount of carbs in the gel anyway, but they have those slow digesting rear food gels, which again, probably aren't great for fast marathons. Comment your gel questions below and I'll be sure to get back to you.